This is the LeeJoy VX2 Aimbox Adapter. This adapter allows you to use mouse and keyboard on console. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review on it and seeing if it's actually worth your investment of 50 bucks. Starting things off, what do you get in the box? You get the adapter itself, the user manual, two cables, a micro USB, and a USB Type-C cable. A little neat feature to add is the adapter has a 2.5 millimeter audio jack on the side of it, so you don't have to worry about having a second controller for audio. And the adapter also supports the Series X and S controllers as well. Now let's set it up. Start off with plugging your controller into the adapter. Then go ahead and plug the mouse and keyboard into the adapter as well. To do this, locate the USB ports on the left and right hand side of the adapter. Simply just plug in your two cables. There is a middle USB port on the adapter. That is for your controller. With that being said, you should now be ready to get it connected to your console. You may notice how easy the lead joy connects to the console. Out of the box, it has no sort of input delay or even jittering. It also supports a wide range of different accessories like mouse, keyboards, and controllers. I was quite surprised how well different accessories worked with this adapter. I tried four different keyboards, two different mice, and a couple of different controllers. First generation Xbox controllers and the newer generation Series X and S controllers. They all worked very well and I was very surprised how it turned out. Now, doesn't this look like the game, sir? Technically, this is a rebrand of an existing product that's already been out called the GameServe VX2 Aimbox. I'm not specifically sure why the company rebranded the mouse and keyboard adapters under a different brand, but this is where the problems begin. The original GameServe had an amazing app. It worked on all devices and it was very responsive. Since they rebranded, they decided to make a new app for this device. And this is where the problems begin. Now, this is what I originally was going to say in my original script. But as February 16th, the app is usable. I was going to go on and rant about, hey, look, you know, they made this new product. They rebranded it. But along the way of rebranding, they made a new app for the, the new product being under a different name but the app didn't work, even though it was literally reskinned of the GameStar app just transferred on its own. That's where I was gonna kind of end it and was gonna rant about how, you know, when they sell a product, you wanna expect the app to actually work. But the, as I was writing the script, the app wasn't usable, it wasn't working. When you would go to change your keybinds, it would never save and upload to the adapter. As of February 16th, that's all changed. The app is actually usable and you can use it to change your settings, your mouse input, your key by, keyboard binds, all that stuff. So please ignore all the stuff that I say in the later part of this video about how the app doesn't work. That's a disappointment. The app does work officially and it works actually really well. Also, I want to get into how to set it up. Go ahead and either go to the Play Store or the Apple Store and download the, the V League Joy. You can find the QR code on the main menu or the ma manual that comes as the adapter, or you can just type in the name on the box. Once you download the app, you'll be agreed to connect or uh, pair the device. You wanna make sure you have your Bluetooth on when you open the app up. Once it connects to the device, you should be agreed with the screen that says Atenio or Tutorial. You wanna hit Tutorial, I recommend just going for Tutorial just in case so you learn everything. Once you get done with tutorial or you just jump right into it for the button layout you want to hit button settings you want to click your layout of controller either xbox playstation i'm gonna go with xbox i have a preset and then you once you go in there it'll greet you with all the settings all right so i want to show you how to what a couple of the settings do just so you guys get an overall understanding of how this thing works so you get your fps modes um so 30 to 60 you always 160 for mouse settings this is your sensitivity curve so like if i max it out hit save upload my sensitivity is going to be absolutely crazy but if i drop it out to the bottom upload it 
there's gonna be like no sensitivity at all. I'm not like moving my mouse at all. So I'm gonna keep it to like 60% and upload that. That's a little better. I think 60 is good. Uh, so smoothness is like how much he wants to smooth out your movement. And like, at 60 is all right. I think 60 is good for, 40 to 60 is good for smoothness. But smoothing, all it does is it makes it so when you're, when you're aiming, um, it just makes your aim look a little, uh, I think smooth just makes it so when you're playing the game, people look at your gameplay, you look like you're using a controller. It also just feels so much better to have a smoother gameplay. Oh, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to run away. Uh, so we're going to down here to curve, you know, game rate angle. So of course, bottom curve, what does it do? It makes it so the curve, you know, goes up to around. You can mess around with this all you want. Uh, and then sensitivity for the keys, that's fine. And then this is where the button layouts where you adjust all your buttons. Of course, if you want to adjust or change something, uh, all you have to do. Okay, so I want to change my lean. So I'm going to press my lean key. Where are you at? If I can find it, it'd be helpful if I could find it. Oh, maybe at the bottom. Yeah, it's at the bottom here. R3. So I'm going to hit clear. And I'm gonna change it to, I'm gonna change it to four. Hit confirm, and then I'm gonna hit upload. So now, I upload it. I'm gonna drop my curve so it's not so insane. Uh, and now it's four is my lean key. Um, so that's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. The app will show you. It also will tell you what key you're pressing. So like A is spacebar. So I clear it and I press spacebar again and hit confirm and then upload. It will upload that um, spacebar is A. So pretty straightforward. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it up to you guys to tune it and adjust all your settings yourself. And let's get back into the video. Now, getting into the League Joy. It's fantastic. This is probably one of the best mousing keyboard adapters that you can buy that's on the market. I would say for the price point of what you get, this is fantastic. Now, moving over to the games that we tested with this adapter, I see a lot of comments asking about these specific games. So starting off with the first game, Rainbow Six Siege. I definitely recommend this adapter with Rainbow. This is probably the best adapter for Rainbow Six Siege. In general, this is a really good adapter. Rainbow Six Siege performed above average. I think it performs very well with mouse and keyboard. It's definitely more of a PC game, but again, it performed really well. Moving over to Rust, also performed basically the same. There was no difference, just a little bit more tuning in game and the app sensitivity. Same thing goes with Overwatch. Overwatch feels very well with this adapter, plus being able to adjust all the settings in the app is fantastic. That was one of my biggest problems when I first wrote this script was the app wasn't working, so you're kind of stuck with what you get out of the box. But again, that was still fantastic. But most recently, since the app is working, this adapter is even better. I highly recommend checking this out and if you are interested in using mouse and keyboard on playstation xbox or switch this is the go-to product to use it for 50 bucks you get a good working app that actually works now can't say it's enough that it actually works and you get a good adapter it works with everything i throw at it so this pretty much brings us to the end of the video if you guys like this type of content please like this drive and check out the other stuff that i do offer reviews etc again this app worked very well. This product worked very well. This mouse keyboard adapter, it's, it's great. Have a good one.